The purpose of Project 2 in Lab 8 is to show you that it isn't always easy to integrate data into a geographic data set. So we often have data that are stored in a table that's not associated with a geographic data set. All sorts of census data, all sorts of ag data, all sorts of other data that we want to link to geography. We have the lower 48 states here, and so we have the counties individually identified, but we don't have a good key. We have to develop that. And then we have data on agricultural production that's provided by an uh, agricultural uh, federal agency, and that's different than the agency that produces the census data, but they produce it by these county state combination, each individual county, and they put the FIPS code in because it's a common way to identify these geographies. So each state has a FIPS code that's unique, and then every county within the state has a unique FIPS code, but it's only unique within the state. I can get repeats of these FIPS codes, as I show when I sort of sending, in different states. So Alabama, Arkansas, California, Colorado all have states with a FIPS county FIPS code of one, but they have different state FIPS codes. So 1560s are unique to the states. So I have to generate, or you have to generate, a new key variable so you can link this in to this lower 48 data set. Now you always want to take a look at the kind of data you have before you start doing calculations. Note here that these state FIPS codes and county FIPS codes are both long, so I can do regular multiplication on them, so that's great. So I'll go ahead and add a field, and I'll make this field a ST count or something, CNTY doesn't matter, it's long, so that's great. I can do the calculation into it, and I save that. And then I'll go back, take a look at the table, make sure that, yep, that showed up, that new variable state count, and I'll calculate into that new variable. So I'll right-click to the Calculate field, and I can then build my expression. I want this to be that state FIPS code, but I can't just add the two. I have to multiply it as we tell you in the instructions by 10,000 because I want the tape state FIPS code to be the first two digits in this number and the last three digits to be the county FIPS code. And I can have up to or over 100 counties, so I don't want them to be on top of each other. So if I do this formula that I show you, I'm going to double click at the right time. I build by left-clicking on first the state FIPS, double left-clicking, and it gives you this variable here with these exclamation points on either side. They're delimiters that are required. Then I left-click on the times, and then I left or type in, click inside and type in 10,000, and then I do plus the county FIPS, again, double left-clicking. And so I should get the first three digits to be the county FIPS, and then when I multiply the state FIPS by 10,000, it adds three zeros. When I add these two, then I get two digits of the state FIPS and three digits of the county FIPS. So I go ahead and run that. And sure enough, it gives me then this new code ready to link in. It's unique for every individual county and state combination. So I open the attribute table for my data set here that is connected to the geography, and there's not much in this, just state and county identifiers plus some housekeeping stuff. Um, what I really need to do here is then create a state county value. And the problem is, if I look at the data for the fields, I have state and county identifiers that are text variables. So I look at the state and county identifiers here. They're numbers, but they're stored as text. These FIPS numbers are stored as text. If I try and apply this same formula, bad things happen. So I'll go ahead and I'll go to the fields view and I'll create a new field and I'll call this ST County and I'll make it long and I'll save it. So there it is. 
if I try and do the same calculation I did before in my data set, here's the new value, right? So I'll right click and do calculate field. If I go down and insert state times 10,000 plus county, oops, and run, I get an error. This error shows up at the bottom. And if I look at the error here, it basically says that I can't calculate with a, a numeric value. So I really can't do this calculation. What I need to do is convert these to integers. There's a function int that converts text to integer before it does the calculation. And so we want to make sure we get the syntax right as it builds here. And then uh, we run this and it gives us the field we want. But again, only with this text to integer conversion. It's one of the reasons that we, probably a main reason that we say you have to look at the fields when you get new data to see what types they are. If they're integer or double, which means they're a float type, they have decimal points, there are restrictions on the kind of math you can do or kind of combinations you can do. The same thing if they're text. So we can learn then and work around using tools to do our calculations depending upon the types we get, but that's why we stress types in chapters two, because it works through all your calculations.